Good morning, everybody. Welcome to morning prayer on Saturday, December 26, 2020 at 9.45 a.m. It's the Feast of St. Stephen today. So let's take a few moments to just get ourselves into a prayerful place before we begin the office. Grace to you and peace from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, we come together in the presence of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, to set forth his praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things that are necessary for our life and our salvation. And so that we may prepare ourselves in heart and mind to worship him, let us sit in silence and with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us that we may, and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord, hail the rock who saves us. Let us come before God giving thanks. With songs, let us hail the Lord. A mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods, in whose hands are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains as well. The sea belongs to God who made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For this is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Oh, that today you would listen to God's voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your ancestors put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said, Their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, Never shall they enter my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Psalms for today are Psalm 28 and Psalm 30. To you, O Lord, I call. My rock, hear me. If you do not heed, I shall become like those in the grave. Hear the voice of my pleading as I call for help, as I lift up my hands in prayer to your holy place. Do not drag me away with the wicked, with the evildoers, 
who speak words of peace to their neighbors, but with evil in their hearts. Repay them as their actions deserve, and the malice of their deeds. Repay them for the work of their hands. Give them their deserts. For they ignore your deeds, O Lord, and the work of your hands. May you ruin them and never, never rebuild them. Praise to you, Lord. You have heard my cry, my appeal. You, Lord, are my strength and my shield. In you, my heart trusts. I was helped, my heart rejoices, and I praise you with my song. Lord, you are the strength of your people, a fortress where your anointed finds refuge. Save your people, bless Israel, your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will praise you, Lord. You have rescued me, and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, I cry to you for help. And you, my God, have healed me. O Lord, you have raised my soul from the dead, restored me to life from those who sink into the grave. Sing psalms to the Lord, you faithful ones. Give thanks to his holy name. God's anger lasts a moment, God's favor all through life. At night there are tears, but joy comes with dawn. I said to myself in my good fortune, nothing will ever disturb me. Your favor had set me on a mountain fastness. Then you hid your face and I was put to confusion. To you, Lord, I cried. To my God, I made appeal. What profit would my death be, my going to the grave? Can dust give you praise or proclaim your truth? The Lord listened and had pity. The Lord came to my help. For me, you have changed my mourning into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. So my soul sings psalms to you unceasingly. O Lord my God, I will thank you forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. first reading is from 2nd Chronicles, chapter 24, verses 17 through 22. After the death of Jehoiada, the officials of Judah came and did obeisance to the king. Then the king listened to them. They abandoned the house of the Lord, the God of their ancestors, and served the sacred poles and the idols. And wrath came upon Judah and Jerusalem for this guilt of theirs. Yet he sent prophets among them to bring them back to the Lord. They testified against them, but they would not listen. Then the Spirit of God took possession of Zechariah, son of the priest at Jehoiada. He stood above the people and said to them, Thus says God, Why do you transgress the commandments of the Lord? so that you cannot prosper. Because you have forsaken the Lord, he has also forsaken you. But they conspired against him, and by command of the king they stoned him to death in the court of the house of the Lord. 
King Joash did not remember the kindness that Jehoiada, Zechariah's father, had shown him, but killed his son. As he was dying, he said, May the Lord see and avenge. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens, and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that for which I have purposed, and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Kind of a rough day for me today, but I'm get I'm managing. It's all right. Get through it. Hope everybody's doing all right. And had a great Christmas. Second reading from Acts of the Apostles. Chapter 6, verse this is 1 through 7. During those days, when the disciples were increasing in number, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution of food. And the twelve called together the whole community of the disciples and said, it is not right that we should neglect the word of God in order to wait on tables. Therefore, friends, select from among yourselves seven men of good standing, full of the spirit and of wisdom, whom we may appoint to this task, while we, for our part, will devote ourselves to prayer and to serving the word. What they said pleased the whole community, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith, and the Holy Spirit, together with Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicolaus, a proselyte of Antioch. They had these men stand before the apostles, who prayed and laid their hands on them. The word of God continued to spread. The number of the disciples increased greatly in Jerusalem, and a great many of the priests became obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night, they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night, you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray for the church, universal, and the world. Grant, Almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Guide the people of this land and of all the nations in the ways of justice and peace that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give us all a reverence for the earth as your own creation that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others and to your honor and glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours and grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as he loves us. Lord, in your mercy, hear I Hear our prayer. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles. Remembering especially today, Junior Irwin, Kerry Connolly, Brian Connolly, Bernadette and Stephen Connolly, Stuart Packman, Eric Mosnes, Keegan Forbes, Michael Knoll, Coulter and his girlfriend, Richard Simmons, clergy with substance abuse issues, Jim White, Andrew Marmelstein, Dave Maloney, Fathers Driscoll and Pudota, Keith Watley, Jimmy Harder, Michael Zorns, Tony Vucetich, Aaron Rogers, Ruben Padilla, Travis Carpenter, Kurt Berry, Larry Burdett, Janine and Mike Jones, TJ Hostomsky, Drunk Phil, June, Ann and Sam, Dad and Mom, Lou and Gina Leach, Debbie Hawkins, Peter Steeler, Joshua and Kara, Danny Hudson, the monks of St. Gregory's Abbey, Clifton Barrett, Rawl and Barbara Laborde, 
the Rev. Oh, sorry, uh, Mike Smith. Pope Francis, our Holy Father Pope Francis. Margie Burke. Kyle Andrew Schofield. Laura and Lydia. Ben, Jesse, Ben and Jesse Bowman. Max Rossmeyer. Mark Andrus, Bishop Mark Andrus. DJ Jason Hayes, Jack and family, Bob Ottaviano, Lord, I pray that you give them courage and hope in their troubles, bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend to your mercy all who have died, remembering especially the Reverend and Mrs. Fred and Cheryl Merrick, the repose of the soul of Howard Connolly, Christine Baker, the repose of the soul of Christine Baker. My grandparents on both sides, remembering them right now. My friend Keith Lloyd, my ex Dustin Rasmussen, May your will for them be fulfilled, and we pray that we sh may share with all your saints in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. You know, it wouldn't be morning prayer if I didn't misplace something. So, uh, unfortunately, I don't have the uh, concluding collector thing right now. So, we're going to have to skip that this morning and go right to the uh, collect of the day. So. But, you know, before we do, Lord, remember our prayers this morning that I offer to you my brothers and sisters that I have mentioned, those living and those that have passed on, the communities in which we live and work, the trials and tribulations that afflict us, that we struggle with in daily life. May we have your grace to experience the full breadth of your bounty here on earth and bring us true joy and light and hope and peace we ask this through your well-beloved Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We give you thanks, O Lord of glory, for the example of the first martyr, Stephen, who looked up to heaven and prayed for his persecutors to your Son, Jesus Christ, who stands at your right hand where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Almighty God, who after the creation of the world rested from all your works and sanctified a day of rest for all your creatures, grant that we, putting away all earthly anxieties, may be duly prepared for the service of your sanctuary, and that our rest here upon earth may be a preparation for the eternal rest promised to your people in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all you who you uh, who you have made. We bless you for our for creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. May the Lord bless you and protect you. Amen. May the Lord show you kindness and be gracious to you. Amen. May the Lord bestow favor upon you and grant you peace. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you forever. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. St. Elizabeth, St. Andrew, St. Stephen. St. Paul, pray for us. Have a blessed rest of your day. And um, I guess that's all I've got. I'm not, you know, I had a rough day yesterday, so I'm not particularly talkative right now. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to say goodbye and um, follow me on Facebook. And if you're interested in my, uh, in my day, I'll, I'll be posting updates as to what I'm doing. It won't be too much. I'm just going to, I'm going to rest up a little bit. So anyway, um, God bless you all. Bye.